Okay, fuck. Fuck. All right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> hey, what's up everyone? My name's Lars, as you know. I fucking met Steve fucking Vi. That's the whole thing of this video. You, I've been wanting to make this video since it fucking happened, since I came back. It happened, dude. I met Steve Vi. That happened. That was a thing that happened. I'm just gonna get right into it. None of this bullshit about, like, fucking whatever. Nothing, nothing else, alright? I met Steve Vi. Let's just get right to that. So, it was November 26th, 2016. A couple months ago, actually. So I know I said no bullshit before I actually get into the story, but fuck, there's gonna be some fucking bullshit. I just wanna say how I actually got into Steve Vai's music. Became... How, how I became the biggest Vi fanboy of them all. As you all know, that's my fucking title. Basically, I saw a David Lee Roth video a couple years ago and it led to this. It was the summer 2014, something around that time. It was before I started playing guitar. And I was watching this program on VH1 Classics. Uh, it was called... I don't even fucking remember what it was called. It was about... It showed 80s music videos. And the video for Yankee Rose by David Lee Roth came on. And my dad said that he had interesting videos. So we kept watching. And then the, the actual music started. And then my dad calls out, Stevie Vai, Guitar God! And I fucking learned that really quickly. And then, a few months later, I started playing guitar. Alright, the actual story, like I said, November 26th, 2016, a couple months ago, Steve Vai was coming to a venue near my city, and I managed to get meet and greet passes. Well, actually my mom did, alright? She deserves credit for that, that was fucking great, alright? <laughs> so... My mom got meet and greet passes, so we both went, because she likes them too. The night starts. It's not really the night, it's like 5.30. <laughs> the, 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 the night starts there. We arrive at the place. The person tells us that we're really late, because apparently the meet and greet was supposed to start at like 3.45 or something, but my mom got the wrong email. It was, it's confusing, I don't want to go into it, but... The lady told us that we apparently missed the meet and greet, so she said, Oh, you know, I'm gonna try to talk to somebody, I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if you guys can get to meet him. Because I, I, fuck! Fuck! Okay. So, we go to the place, and another part of this VIP package is that we would get to watch soundcheck. So, you know, we're watching soundcheck, that's pretty fucking cool. And after soundcheck, we met this guy, Conan, who was Steve's coordinator, and he helped us out a lot. He said, oh shit, we got, well he didn't say that, but he said, y you missed the meet and greet, I'll, I'll get you to meet him, I'll make sure you meet him. So, we go back inside, and then we're sitting in the seats where we are. We're second row, by the way. VIP packages, man. <laughs> and so we're second row, and we're waiting, and Conan's talking to Steve, I guess, about... And then he says, like, some people miss the meet and greet. And Steve says, oh, some people miss the meet and greet? And then, and then my mom says, oh, yeah. And, and then Steve's saying that he'll come to meet us. And then my mom says to Steve Vai, she says... Oh, should we come up there? And Steve says, no, I'll come down there. My mom spoke to Steve Vai. Fucking hell. Like, I, 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 I couldn't do that. So then Steve Vai walks off stage and he just kind of casually leans against the wall like he's not Steve fucking Vai. Like he's not a fucking guitar god. So my mom says that I'm a really big fan, you know. And then Steve looks at me and he says, oh, bring it in. And then so I go over... He says, nice shirt. I was wearing this shirt. It's, it's, it's him. He, he nice shirted his own shirt. And, and, and I shake his hand, and, and, and then we get a picture taken, and this is the picture right here. This is not my fucking phone background. Nothing can be fucking better than this. My phone background was David Bowie for a long time, but now, now what's better than this? Fucking hell. Holy shit, dude. Okay, so, I'm talking to Steve fucking Vi. And, you know, I'm talking about my, my own guitar playing, you know, I've been playing for about two years, and how I'm right-handed but play guitar left-handed, and he thought that was cool. 
So, you know, playing like this, like, you know, it just feels natural, and he says that's good. He thought it was cool, okay? If Steve Vai thinks me, the right-handed guy, playing guitar left-handed, if Steve Vai think it's, th thinks that's cool, it fucking is. <laughs> Steve Vai thought I was cool. That's fucking epic. I, I say that a fucking lot, but it was! So, uh, then... Then he asks what I play, and, you know, I didn't know what to say for a second, because one, this was Steve Vai, and two, I wasn't sure exactly what he was asking, if he was asking, like, what kinds of guitars I play, or, you know, what bands I play. So I say, oh, you know, my riffs are kind of, you know, Metallica influence, you know, uh, Metallica, Black Sabbath, Nirvana. He thought that was cool, too. So, yeah, Steve Vai thought I was cool. And then the show, the show! was fucking great. Of course, it's Steve Vai. Of course the show is gonna be great, you know? I don't... I, I, I didn't have any doubt that he didn't still have it, but he still got it. I, I, I never had any doubt, because I saw him in February as well, and, like, he still had it then. Like, come on. So, uh, you know, included in the meet and greet package was, I got this. I got this poster. It was signed by him. And, uh, I also got, got, uh, this shirt, um, for the, uh, the tour. It was the, uh, 25th anniversary of Passion and Warfare. And, uh, also got some pics. And, uh, I'm gonna bring it in for this. Really? So these are the pics I got. Um... I don't play with these, okay? How could I? Alright? Like, these are Steve Vai picks, alright? So, there's that. Um, I don't, I don't really know if you can see that. Uh, come on. There we go. That's good enough. Um, that one. Yes, I am going to show you all of them. That one. Like the shirt. This. That one. This one. And this one. I think this one's the coolest. It's the cover, Passion and Warfare. So that's that, really. I mean, there's not much more to it. I met him, saw the show, the show was great. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Fuck, I met Steve Vai, that's the fucking greatest thing, man. He was cool, he was a really nice guy, and I, I've heard that from people. I, like, anyone who's ever met him, I've, I, they've said that he's a really nice guy, really down-to-earth, really cool, and yes, he was, so... Hell yeah, dude. Um, but I think that's gonna be... That's gonna be it for this. Uh, I've got some more videos coming, you know, I've been doing more guitar covers, so there's that. Um, I've got a bunch of other plans, too, so... More stuff coming soon. All right, yeah, hell yeah, dude. So, <laughs> thanks for listening to me scream at the camera for however long this video ends up being. It's gonna be fucking long, isn't it? Because they always are. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That's that. I met Steve fucking Vi. That was fucking epic. All right. Until next time, stay metal.